Hey everyone, today I'm going to be testing out how realistic the physics of Fall Guys is. If you don't know what Fall Guys is, it's a new game that came out on August 4th, 2020. And within 24 hours of its release, it already had 1.5 million players. What's interesting about this is I've heard people describe it as a physics simulator, because the physics in it look pretty realistic. People bump into each other, they get hit by things and fly through the air. So I wanted to see how realistic the physics are in real life when I try to perform the same stunt that I see in the game. I'm going to be testing four instances. The moving walkway, moving with the walkway and against the walkway, what happens when you jump when you're on it. The next one is what happens when you're on a spinning walkway, moving around in a circle and you jump up in the air. Do you fly outward and fly off the circle or should you stay on it or what should happen? And then I'm going to be testing falling through the air if it looks the same as when you fall on Fall Guys. So it looks like for the Fall Guys, when you're running with the track and you jump up and down, you don't move on the track, but you do move relative to the ground around you. Now let's check if it looks the same in real life. Okay, so I have a treadmill set up here and I have some lines on it so you can actually see the treadmill moving and then you can see how it looks compared to how I'm moving in the room around it. Okay, so first we're going to see what happens when I'm moving with the treadmill and I jump up in the air. So when I jump up in the air, will I keep moving through the room or not? Okay, so when I'm just standing on the treadmill, I'm going the same velocity as the treadmill. So when I jump up, I should continue moving that same velocity and land right where I took off on the track. And you can see that's exactly what happens. But then as I jump off the end of the track, relative to the ground, you can see that I am actually moving. So I'm not moving relative to the track, but I am moving relative to the ground. Now let's try and fall, guys, when you're moving against the track. So in this case, if you jump off the track, you're not moving relative to the ground, so you just land right where you left the track relative to the ground. And if you were to jump while you're running, you'd stay where you are relative to the ground, but you would continue moving forward relative to the track. So for moving with the track, the physics checks out and Fall Guys gets the point for this one. All right, now let's check a spinning track. This one's really interesting. Okay, first let's check what happens in Fall Guys. You can see that as he jumps, nothing really happens. It looks like he moves a little bit towards the outside, but for the most part, he pretty much just stays with the spinning track. But is that what it would look like in real life? Wouldn't you just fly off? Let's go check it out. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna push me around. Okay. Go, 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 go. <laughs> so what's interesting about this is not much actually happened when I jumped on the spinning wheel. That's because just like the treadmill, I'm moving at the same speed as the wheel. But the only thing is that in this case, it's rotating. So as soon as I leave the wheel, I'm moving at the same linear velocity as I was when I left the wheel. And so that means I'm gonna continue moving in a straight line, but the wheel is going to curve away from me. So to understand what's going on here, you have to remember that when something's spinning in a circle, let's say you have a ball spinning on a string, so let's say you're connected here and it's just spinning around in a circle. If you were to cut this string, the ball would not fly outward, but it would continue in the direction that it was going linearly when the string was cut. So instead of flying outward, if it were spinning in a circle right at this point, 
it's moving in that direction. So it would just fly off exactly in that direction. And the same thing happens when I jumped. So let's say I was standing here. Instead of a ball connected through a string, it's just my feet connected to the floor through friction. And that friction is pulling me towards the center of the wheel. So as I jump, I don't just fly outward or anything, but what happens is I continue moving in this direction. If I stayed on the floor, I would have curved with it and I would have ended up in this spot instead of this spot. But even at that speed, for the time I was in the air, the difference between here and here, if you're looking at it with the colors of the wheel, it's not that much and it's really hard to even tell the position change. For the most part, it kind of just looks like I moved outward a little bit. But the difference between these two spots looks like you're flying outward when in reality you just moved in a straight line. So that's why people assume that you fly outward from spinning things when in reality you just move at right angles to it. You keep moving the direction that you were going whenever the string was cut or you left the wheel. So surprisingly, the physics for jumping on the spinning wheel look correct as well. To start it off, let's see what it looks like on Fall Guys when he's just falling through the air. So this is the first scene of the game when you're waiting for other players to join. So you can see that he kind of gets off balance, rocks back and forth, and his arms are just kind of waving in the air. So to see what it looks like when you're actually falling through the air, I went indoor skydiving and filmed myself. Now in Fall Guys, his arms are kind of just flopping to his side, but in skydiving, you actually have to be pretty aware of your arms. Your arms are used to stabilize yourself and also control yourself. You can make yourself spin by changing the angle that your palms are facing, and you can also stabilize yourself by keeping them out in towards your body or away from your body. But for the most part, the way he's falling through the air, how it looks with his body rocking back and forth is pretty close to how it looked in real life. So I'm gonna give that one a pass. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell and check out theactionlab.com to see the Action Lab experiment boxes. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.